Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Got a really fun deck review for you today. These are from cardistrytouch.com. Uh, cardistrytouch.com sent me a box uh, this month of a bunch of decks. And so uh, this is only one of them. This is one that I wanted to feature early because I just thought it was so cool and so creative, but you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for the other videos to come out. Head on down to cardistrytouch.com and check out their cool collection of cards. This deck is the offset orange concept cards and uh, lots to talk about. First, this is orange. Okay, it says orange right there on the side, but uh, they're not limited to just orange. So if you go to the website, they have a bunch of different colors. And so I think that's one of the cool things about this set. Notice it says touch and offset, and, and that's really the whole theme of this deck. Everything is this kind of disjointed offset feel. It's supposed to look like there was a bad cut when these went to press. So see how the orange, it feels like it got cut off. The whole deck is going to feel like that, that it's all just offset a little bit, like the registry uh, was off on this whole thing. I would say that's pretty much everything about the tuck case, but I want to show you this slide to open. So this is how this is how this works. OK, so you're going to slide this this way. And as you do that, the deck springs up and then this orange color from the cards carries down into the orange arrow and then you can slide the cards out just like that. That's everything about the tuck case. Now we can look at the cards. Normally at this point I would go through the backs and I would show you the back design and I would say this is the back design. But as you're going to see, the back design actually changes. In fact, the back design changes with every single suit. So as soon as the suit changes, the back design changes. So it's all the same theme the white frame with the big field of black, the olive green there, and then the orange arrow. It also says middle left, middle right there, like those are the registry cuts. But you'll see that to carry this offset theme, it looks like the border here got miscut, right? So you're going to see that on all the cards. Everything has a full bleed corner and then a white poker border corner. So for cardistry, That'll certainly make everything look uh, a lot of fun. With this deck, you'll get a single ad card that says learn more about touch at cardistrytouch.com and you can like and follow them there on Facebook and Instagram. All right, so going through the card faces, you're gonna see the same thing. Every single suit is cut differently. So with the spades, you see the arrow going that direction and then everything's pushed that direction. See that? I mean, you only have one Pippin Indice in the corner. The other corner is blank. And so there's your court cards. They're pushed to the same angle. But then as soon as you get to diamonds, everything's pushed that direction. So pushed in the direction of the arrow. So at least with the diamonds and the spades, you have an indice. When you get to the clubs, uh, everything's pushed so hard, you don't have a pip and indice. You just have to look at the cards and kind of figure out what it was. And then with the hearts, you can see everything is pushed down. But again, at least you have a pip and indice. And I thought it'd be fun to show you all four suits grouped together so that you can see everything. So this is the spades and you can see the ace, you can see the back design and you can see the court cards. So you can see the theme of everything at once. And here's the diamonds again, back design, courts, ace, and then the clubs. It's back design, courts, and ace, and the hearts. And it's back design, courts, and ace. And I get it, this deck might not be for everybody. There might be a couple of you that only use cards for magic or you only use cards for gameplay, but I think Cardistry Touch, they're more of an artistic deck designer, and so they're looking to kind of appease those uh, of you that really use cards for cardistry and you're looking for something that's more of an artistic card. Uh, let me tell you that 10 cards in the caliper come to 2.78. 2.78 is a middle of the road deck, 
right? It's middle of the road. It's going to feel, you know, a nice medium stock. It's going to be bendy, but still have a little bit of stiffness, a little bit of spring to it. That's everything I can say about the offset orange concept cards. I want to thank cardistrytouch.com for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right. I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning-level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.